Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Judy Simpson. It's the first Thursday of the month and you know what that means. We're in the kitchen with Across the Fence with our chefs Carolyn Peake from Williamstown and of course Lynn Jarvis from South Hero. And today we're going to be cooking healthy. Carolyn, what do you have to start us off with? Oh, I've got a, an <laughs> old favorite. This is uh, soft molasses cookies and this is my viewer recipe comes from Dorothy Pearson of St. John's Berry and I really had quite a, a challenge on this one because she just said to add flour until you could work it and roll it out so I figured we'll put it into the uh, the recipe thing that it's about six cups give or take when you get up towards it just go slow um, but it, it was really kind of fun because it made me think of a way I used to give a bread recipe back when there weren't bread machines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am that old. <laughs> and, uh, but I used to tell people, I'd give them my recipe and then I'd say, just add flour till it feels right. So add flour till it feels right. And these are so good, so easy. And I put some sugar onto some of them because my mother used to put sugar on top of molasses cookies. But I thought you could take two and you could put frosting between them, or Judy says ice cream. Mm -hmm. And you come up with all kinds of ideas. Very versatile. So, yes, very, nice. and very good. <laughs> and Thanks, Dorothy. Well, we had such a good year for blueberries oh, because we, we had so much rain. And you know they're full of antioxidants, mm -hmm. which ward off all those bad things going on in our body. So I decided to make these blueberry orange cornmeal muffins three of my favorite ingredients. Now also included in here, there's some vanilla, butter, and low-fat yogurt. And you really can't see it, but there's a glaze on here made with confectionery sugar and orange juice to enhance that orange flavor. And the good thing about this, there's just 150 calories per muffin, so that's not bad at all. Uh, great for family get-togethers, potlucks, or uh, bake sales. People would really go for these. Yeah, they look nice and moist. Yeah, they are. And what do you have for us? Well, I have a dip. It's tzatziki dip. It's got um, Greek yogurt, um, some grated... Um, <laughs> you okay? There goes, there goes the spatula. <laughs> yeah, there goes the, <laughs> some grated cucumber and dill, and um, you mix it together and you uh, refrigerate it overnight. And it's it's great with I I like to use it with fresh vegetables, but you could also use pita chips. It's very versatile, and you can just take it on on your boat and and go and have a great healthy snack. I think it's one of the most healthy things we've got on the table. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, now it's time to announce the winner of last month's drawing at the boat ride on Paradise Bay with Lynn. Drum roll, please. <laughs> the lucky winner was Ron Unkert from Craftsbury Common. Ron brought along his daughter Cheryl and her husband Jerry. It was a beautiful day to be out on the water. Looks like it was a little bit chilly there on Lake Champlain. Did you have a good time, Lynn? Uh, we had a pretty brisk north wind, <laughs> so, so that's why we were wearing those coats. And... Uh, but if we can look at that picture again, I wanted to show that dessert we had. It yeah, was, it looks nice. Uh, it was chocolate brownies with raspberries. And when we ate those, we forgot all about the, the, the <laughs> cold wind and the choppy water. So I wanted to mention Cheryl. Uh, she was uh, pretty brave. She hadn't been on a boat since she was 10 years old. Really? Yeah. Uh, what happened was her father, Ron, had taken them, they lived in New Jersey, had taken them out on a boat and they got caught on a sandbar oh. and that really scared her. So as I said, this was her first trip in 10 years and we had a really good time and we enjoyed each other's company and I'm glad everything worked out so well and we're gonna do it again. Yep, Lynn's offering <laughs> another boat ride. At the end of the show, I'll let you know how you can enter the free drawing. Now for those who watched our July 4th program, you'll recall our segment on international cooking. It was so well received that we invited back Marco Ayala <laughs> and he's cooking up some recipes from Mexico. Hi, Good to see yes. you again. I have some beautiful recipes here. My first one is going to be... I'll give you a little more room. Great, thank you. <laughs> My first one is going to be um, quesadillas. These are great, they're really easy to make. Kids love them. And the best part is that these ones are very healthy because there is, I'm gonna show you here. There's cheese there, there's chicken. So if you use chicken breast, um, you know, and you boil it, it's, you know, fairly non-fat and there is also beans in there. So there's a lot of protein and potassium there. Um, and the best part about these is that if you're on a budget, these are great because, you know, they come out for about a dollar twenty-five per serving because, you know, you get eight out of it. So this is a great recipe that I encourage you to try at home. Okay, my next recipe is going to be this, oh, yeah, dessert, of course. Um, these empanadas, 
I really like this ones um, because they're very healthy. They're only 69 calories per empanada. Um, they're made with, they're typically made with, you know, like a very rich dough, but this one, since it's a light version, they're made with a whole wheat flour and cornmeal. So that really cuts down the calories, and you can see the stuffing there. These ones are pineapple. So you use a mixture of pineapple and apricot, which works really well, but you can use pretty much any fruit that you will like. So whatever it's in season, you can use for your empanadas. They're very easy to make, so I really encourage you to try these ones. I also have this beautiful um, blueberry streusel cake, and this is my viewer recipe. This came from Georgina Chaffee from Glover, Vermont. I'm going to show you this because this is just so pretty that it's, it's amazing. Look at, look at this. I mean, there, this packs three cups of blueberries in there. So there's plenty of antioxidants. Um, there's, this, of course, streusel in the middle that you can see. And it was so easy to make. I was so surprised because um, when you think of streusel cake, you think it's going to be complicated and there's going to be a lot of steps involved, but this is really easy to make and it's delicious. As you can see, there is a piece missing because <laughs> we, we had to try it. It was so, so good. So um, I really encourage you to try also. The, um, I, I would like to also mention that this uh, quesadilla is going back to this ones. They're very mild, so kids love them. Um, you can have them as hot as you want uh, by using different different kind of salsa. And um, our next chef is here, okay. Carolyn. So I'll, they, they sound I'll good. You. Maybe I'll just stand here and eat, and okay, people, and can, people can look at what I have. I know, and, and there's tiny ones, so you know. Yes. Just <laughs> Well, since I <clears throat> started out with one dessert, I'll save the other dessert for the end. And the rest of the things that I have are some of the old standbys, but a lot of them have been toned down in calorie count. The first one I have, slow cooker, guys, is, is a macaroni and cheese cooked in the slow cooker. And it really, it comes out very nicely, but you're using some of the lower fat cheeses. And I'll just scoop some out here. I tried some of it when I, at last night when I made it, and it was good. So it's just a nice macaroni and cheese, and not a lot of work, because you dump everything into the crock pot and let the crock pot do the work. It has the reduced fat milk and cheeses and things like that. So again, it's very, very good as well as being good for you. Now, got to have a vegetable. So this time, I'm going to set that. <laughs> I almost got away from you. This is a broccoli with lemon sauce. And you cook up your broccoli. Now, this is for a big group. So this took about three pounds of broccoli uh, florets. But it's a just a nice broccoli. And then you make a sauce with lemon juice and cornstarch and cold water and some butter and such as that. Now the sauce really is not one to warm up. And this one I had to warm it up because I made it last night. But you can, if it's warmed up, it's going to flow nicely. So a little better way of, of doing it. Next, I have a cranberry turkey barbecue sandwich. And this can be done with big, you know, with sandwich rolls. I decided to use just a hamburger roll. And you make this up, then you can keep it warm in the uh, slow cooker. But you just have a nice turkey, barbecued turkey sandwich. My next one is a summer Special summer berry medley. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and a little bit of mint. Not only does it smell delicious, it tastes really good, I promise. Because I had some, and I know. And my final dessert is a raisin pound cake, and that's right down here. And it is a, it's made with a yellow cake mix. So it's very quick, very easy. Some spices, some raisins. You can make it a little more special by serving some fruit over it. So I'm gonna take some of my summer fruit and do it that way. And then I am going to say, Lynn, your turn. <laughs> 
You know, we, we just do too much on this show. I, I, we just have to rush through our things, but people love to see them. I thought I did too much yesterday when I was trying to get everything <laughs> oh done. My, I know what you mean. <laughs> well, thank you, Carolyn. We get a lot of requests from viewers for gluten-free recipes. I got a letter a while ago from Charles... Sally Chartrand over in Barry, Vermont. And so I've got a couple of recipes for her and, and they're good for all of us as, as well. Uh, first one is right here. It's this baked shrimp and tomato feta sauce, a beautiful looking uh, main dish. It's gluten-free and low in calories. And it has in here onion and garlic and you add your tomatoes and simmer. Then you stir in your shrimp and feta cheese. And I'm gonna put some in this little bowl right in front of us so you can see it. Now this is great served just as it is. Or if you want something a little more hearty, you can serve it over rice. Gives you a little more bulk. But there it is, a nice gluten-free recipe that all of us can enjoy. Now, for dessert, I have a cookie that's a favorite of mine, but this is a little bit of a different twist on it. It's these lemony almond macaroons, just six ingredients, so they're very easy to make. There's coconut in here, slivered almonds, sugar, and lemon zest. Stir that all up, put in your egg whites. Makes about two dozen, and you can keep them in an airtight container for up to a week, but don't worry, they're not gonna last that long. Okay, now we're going to start moving on to our main dish, and I'm gonna put this plate up here, and this is a meatloaf. Now, you viewers know that meatloaf is pretty high in calories. Well, I found a recipe that has just 140 calories per slice, and I think the secret ingredient is low-fat cottage cheese. So I'm gonna uh, put some on our plate here while I tell you about it. Uh, I'm going to have a little trouble with this because I know it's sort of falling apart, but it's made with, of course, your a uh, hamburger, and then there's cottage cheese in here, oatmeal, ketchup, mustard, and chopped onions. And again, just 140 calories because you use that uh, low-fat cottage cheese. So there it is, a nice meal with a fresh salad, and you're um, getting off to a good start. Now, this is the time of year for fresh corn in the gardens and roadside stands, and I found a recipe that Carol is going to enjoy, as well as all you fans of uh, slow cookers. It's cream corn in the slow cooker. Very easy to make. It can use uh, frozen corn or the canned corn if you don't have fresh. But anyway, in the corn is butter, spices, and the secret ingredient is cream cheese. So let me put some up on our plate because I think there's nothing better with cream corn than a good meatloaf. So there's our start to our, our meal. Now, if you don't have corn, there's a lot of zucchini now, and this is a recipe. Uh, it's called cream zucchini casserole, with just 140 calories per slice. And it's made in layers. You, get, you buy some prepared stuffing mix, and then in the middle, you put a mixture of uh, onions and your zucchini and your carrots and your uh, cream of chicken soups, and then layer it Stuffing on the bottom, vegetables on top, on the middle, and then more stuffing on top. And I'm gonna take some of this out. And this is so good because I just remembered it made me think of Thanksgiving because of the stuffing mix. And you know we have such good food at Thanksgiving. So we have a real plateful here. <laughs> this is for a real hearty eater. And dessert, Judy, you're gonna want a piece of this. It's a viewer recipe, oh, it's and it's from El Wilda Stowe of Colchester. If you'd hold this so they can get a good shot of how it's done. It's made in layers, and on the bottom layer, you can see there's blueberries, and that's mixed with sugar and cinnamon. And then over that, you put your custard mix, and then on top is the meringue topping. Again, I can only say it's healthy because of the blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> They're really good for us. Well, that works for me. <laughs> yeah. All righty, well, there are a lot of recipes, and I want to thank uh, Lynn, Carolyn, and Marco for preparing them all in the kitchen for us. Now, we have a couple of different ways, of course, that you can get all the recipes, plus we're going to throw in a few extras. And you can also enter our free drawing for the boat ride on beautiful Paradise Bay in South Hero with Lynn Jarvis and his pontoon boat. This is a recent photo taken at sunset, so you can see what a treat you will have in store if you are the lucky winner.
Now you can get the recipes online from Across the Fence website. Go to uvm.edu slash extension and click on the link to Across the Fence. You can find the recipes on the left hand side of the web page. Now to get the recipes by mail, send $2 in a stamped self-addressed business size envelope to Healthy Cooking, Box 188, South Hero, Vermont 05486. And please remember if you're ordering the recipes to include $2 in a stamped self-addressed envelope. And we'll use that envelope address as your entry for the drawing for the boat ride. And if you're not ordering the recipes, just send along your name, address, and phone number to the address on your screen, and that will enter you in the free drawing. Good luck to everybody. Once again, thanks to everybody for bringing in these wonderful recipes. That's our program for today. Uh, we invite you to join us September 5th for our apple recipes. And also, in closing, we want to encourage you to support local farmers by buying at farm stands and farmers markets. From all of us here at Across the Fence, have a great day. For a video copy of today's program, call toll-free 1-888-ATF-3430. Across the Fence is brought to you as a public service by University of Vermont Extension and WCAX-TV.